Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of On the Tee with May. We are here at Wasatch Golf Course just in time for the leaves to start changing colors. We are here with assistant pro Jennifer Pierce. Hello. Hi May. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. How Thanks for having me today. Yeah. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to golf, get to know you a little bit and check out the course. Sounds good. Let's go. Thank you so much for coming on. I know like I heard that Wasatch Golf Course is like the busiest golf course in the state. It is one of the most popular golf courses in the state for sure. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for taking time. Yeah. For the busyness. So we we uh, pride ourselves in playing year round and in four hours mm. or less. Hopefully, we space our tee times twelve minutes apart, um, just so that people can get around. We, we used to have the plague of the five-hour round. Yeah, yeah. Um, but now, you Wait, know, average awesome. time is four hours for a round of golf. That's so. nice. Yeah. For me, I like I can't focus for too long. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. five-hour rounds, I just can't do it. I start playing worse. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. What are we hitting? I'm gonna hit my three wood. I just got a three wood in the bag for the very yeah. first time, and I I've, love it. I've actually went to a. Uh, well, it's a. Uh, actually more forward is 16 degree. Yeah. But then I went seven, nine instead, or I've got a five wood, a seven, seven and nine to replace oh. my four and five iron because they're a little harder to hit. Yeah. So, oh. yeah. Yeah, I got a seven wood too. I haven't hit it. Yeah, yet, I love my seven <laughs> wood. So. Perfect. Got lots of hilly lies up here on the mountain course. I like so. that. But sometimes you get lucky with the, the hills help you. you yes. Know? Um, how long have you been working here? I've been here at Wasatch for two years now. So what's your favorite um, part about working here? Well, I grew up here on this golf course since I was a little kid. I started playing here when I was eight years old and took some lessons from Bruce Summer Hayes when he was the head pro here. And then my dad is the state, was the state park manager. And so we grew up literally at the top of the driving range. It's right there. And yep. And I remember going out and Sunday afternoons finding big golf balls up here on the mountain <laughs> course and just lots of good memories here. And when the job came available, I was like, I got to do that. That's, yeah. That's a dream yeah. job for me. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Lots of, like, history, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's it was true. like a full circle thing. Yeah. Coming and working here. So you <laughs> want me to tell you distance? Okay. No, I'm just saying my three wood and just hope for the best. Rock it and hope Hit. it goes. And hope. <laughs> nice. That hit that pretty good. That was really good. Yesterday I could have it. <laughs> I'd take so. that one any day. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a mountain course and a lake course. Correct. Which is your favorite? Um, well, I personally enjoy the lake course. Just uh, the setup down there mm -hmm. suits my game better. And um, that's where I like to play, but our most popular course is probably the mountain course. Most people want to come up here, and especially this time of the year when the leaves are starting to change, and it's really pretty. Yeah. Um, and the views that you get up here on the mountain course are amazing. Yeah. And the course is in really good shape right now. Our maintenance crew does an excellent job of keeping the course in great shape. So, yeah, it's lots of fun. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> That's okay. Plus five. Tell us a little bit about your background and stuff. Like, when did you start golfing? Like, you grew up here on the golf yep. course. But... Started playing when I was eight, just kind of for fun. I'd go out with my dad. Um, and then I played a few junior golf tournaments when I was younger. But then in high school, uh, we didn't have a girls golf team. And so you had to play with the guys. 
uh, when I was in high school, and I decided to play volleyball. Um, loved volleyball, basketball, uh, but I really took up the game again when I was older, um, after I got married, so in my early 20s. I started playing at Park City in their league and met a bunch of great people and worked over there uh, for Bob Rudd. So many people in Utah know Bob and uh, he was the head pro when I worked there and worked there for a while and played in the ladies league and um, probably my best rounds were when I took third place in the state am over there at Park City and yeah. then uh, mm -hmm. so I just started that's playing amazing. a lot more and having fun again and yeah. that's when I was like okay I think that I want to make this a career possibly and turn pro and and uh, I decided to take the PAT I didn't pass that time and so at that point I was like oh well maybe I'm supposed to have a family so I had a family have three kids. Um, none of them are serious about golf, but they all enjoy playing. So yeah. that's what's fun is uh, now my girls are like, Mom, let's go play golf. I and you that. know, it's great. So, <laughs> um, but always loved the game and loved being a part of it and being around the, the game and, you know, working on a golf course and meeting people is awesome. Yeah. No, that's good advice where you, like, fell back in love with the game. Yeah. And that's when you started yeah. playing your best. Like, uh -huh. I think people get in their heads a lot, and sadly, you start not liking the game. Yeah. Right? But yeah. you just kind of like yeah. it. Yeah, always, cool. always loved playing it. Just didn't get serious about it till I, I was older. And then, and then um, you know, recently, it was like two years ago, when I decided to actually t take the PAT again and passed. Yeah. So. Well, congratulations. Um, yeah, awesome. <laughs> it was great. I was like, oh, oh, yes, it's meant to be. And then when I got this job, I was like, oh, it's great. Yeah. So it was a dream come true. And, you know, they always say, you know, always don't give up on your dreams, even if you are an old lady. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm definitely an old lady compared to you young girls. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> um, let's go make a par. Okay. That's a good plan. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, tipping contest. Oh, wait, that's gone. That's hitting the cameraman. <laughs> Pretty good. It's fine. I'll make the putt. Okay. See, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Dang. Chipping is probably the best part of my game. Is it? Driving the ball and chipping the ball. Mm. I think chipping is the worst part of my game. So I might need a chipping lesson, honestly. Okay. You can make that pot. <laughs> she hasn't watched all the episodes. If she thinks I'm going to make this <laughs> Where do you think it's going to break, right? I think this is going to go right a little bit, yeah. Okay. A little downhill. Just tap it in. Oh my gosh. Come so on. A little harder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a baby. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Nice. Good up and down. Thank you. Next hole. What has been your uh, favorite memory on the golf course? Well, it was probably when I was eight years old. I was golfing with my dad and a couple of his friends on the lake course, and we were on number six. I hit my first ball in the water, but teed it up again, and then got it in the hole and you know to me that was a hole in one but it was actually a par so <laughs> that was a mulligan that's a, yeah Please. technically <laughs> take a mulligan <laughs> can I have a mulligan on that one is that lucky or unlucky you know yeah I know well at eight years old that's you're you're cool. just excited and yeah everybody that was playing golf remembers that uh yeah. that day yeah have you ever had any hole ones after that 
Yeah, in fact, last year um, I was out playing with a couple of friends again on the lake course, and number eight on the lake, I got a hole in one on that hole. So, so the lake course is your lucky course. The lake course is course. my lucky hole. And the other hole in one I had was in a practice round at Oak Ridge Country Club in mm. a practice round for the state M. Oh, so that was kind of cool, round. too. That is cool. Yeah, but that's it. Just three. <laughs> What's been your best score on the lake and the mountain? Uh, like which is uh, the yeah. lake, I think my best score is like 71, and then up here is about the same on the mountain. Same. Um, but my best score ever was a 69 at Davis in a tournament, so I was pretty proud of that. Just a little wind in our face. Wind in our face. 147. Yeah. Got my 7 oil. in. <laughs> what was that? Do you like wooden tees or plastic tees? Uh, I'm, I'm fine with either. Um, I'm picky. I think I prefer wood on the par threes. But, yeah. Um, no same. Yeah. That's the method. I'm too broke for wood tees because you like break them so much. Yeah. <laughs> I knew nice. I was aimed over there, but I was too stubborn to change. Yeah, we, we charge a dollar for a bag of wooden tees here at Wasatch, so I think oh. you could afford oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Where am I buying my wooden tees then? So, I am going to use my trusty old nine wood here. I bet that's a fun club. Yeah, it's so. nice because it gets the ball up higher on a in the air and lands nice and soft on the green. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's not. Oh, it never mind. It got, got caught. It got caught in the rough. <laughs> What's your favorite part about being an assistant? Well, um, here. Here? I love that. Mostly it's just working with the people. Uh, I do spend a lot of time behind the counter checking people in and, you know, getting them out on the golf course and kind of making sure everything's running smoothly. But I also help with the ladies' league and running that. We've uh, grown it. We've got our 18 holers play on Tuesdays in the morning, and then uh, we have a nine hole league that we I started last year, um, and they play on the evenings on Tuesdays. And so we have about uh, 45 members um, in each group, and so wow. it's grown. That's yeah. big. Nice. That's awesome. Um, I also like the 18 and then the nine hole yeah. separate group. Yeah, gives like, a chance for those people that have to work during the day. They can come and play, uh, you know, nine holes in the evening. And so yeah. it's been really successful. And I think it's a good starting point for people that don't want to jump into a, you know, competitive scene playing 18 holes. They can start with nine and see if they like it. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's cool. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> I might join. Yes. Fix your ball mark, folks. Yes. You do it like this and this and then a little tappy tap tap. A little left. A little left, but that's how do you have so much control with it? Like mine is just like I think I have noodle arms when it comes to my chipping. Just repetition over and over. <laughs> Okay, if this goes in the hole, everybody owes me ten dollars. Come on. Break. Good pot. Okay, nobody owes me ten dollars. <laughs> Are you a pin in or pin out? I like to pin out. Okay. Yep. I I'm a pin, pin out this. person. Ah! <laughs> little Ooh. guess oh. I better I, that was a gimme <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to playing with my friends and they say that's good <laughs> I say anything from 10 feet in is good so yeah 
I don't know about 10 feet. <laughs> I'm very generous with the gimme. <laughs> Good pot. Thank you. And also, you guys, look at this view. Yeah. This mountain. You should take your turn around and get a picture of the <laughs> valley down there. This is probably one of the most prettiest uh, holes on the course right here, I think. But it's like pretty over there, and Just, then pretty over there, and then pretty over there. Yeah. And then you gotta, I like it right here, that mountain over yeah. there. And then you can look up Snake Creek Canyon here. Yeah. What mountain so, are we on? Is that? So Brighton Ski Resort is right, right at the top of the canyon up oh, there. Oh, got so, you. Yep. So pretty. Okay, rapid fire here with Jen. Are you ready? Ready. Okay, go to snack on the course. A banana and a gr granola bar. Music on the course or no music? No music. What's your favorite course outside of Utah? I haven't played a lot of golf outside of Utah, but I played down in Arizona, Greyhawk down there. Oh, so, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. Um, who's your favorite golfer? Right now, Scotty Scheffler. What's your favorite ba club in the bag? Favorite club in the bag is probably my driver. What kind of music do you listen to? A lot of 80s music. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie this year, Fall Guy. Summer or winter? Definitely summer. Bucket list course? Definitely Augusta. Duh. Favorite tournament to watch on TV? Probably the Masters. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Rapid fire. Whew. Jen, thank you guys so much for coming on this month's episode. You're welcome. For having thanks you. for having me yeah. and thanks for coming to Wasatch. Yeah, so thank you. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and we will see you next month. Bye.